now we shall learn how to create a hello world project and uploading and running it on esp32 with platform io ide you must have already seen the previous tutorials where we have discussed about that our first step would be to connect our esp32 module to the computer so for that this is the ESP32 module that I have and this is the USB connector and I have put this on a breadboard so that it is easy for me and I have plugged this other side of the cable into the place provided on the chip on the module and now I am connecting it to my uh, computer so you can see that as soon as I connect it, it blinked a little bit and now it is finally connected to my computer. So here a few things have to be noted. First of all, we should go to the device manager, right click on the windows, right click on the windows and go to the device manager and we should verify it under ports that I should get this silicon labs or whatever is your case the com port com3 this should be visible under the ports this is the first thing that should be done and if it is somehow not visible then a little bit troubleshooting will be required but chances are very very low that it will not be done because when you install platform IO it does everything for you however if it is not done then here is a troubleshooting that I am giving here. You can have a look at that. So if USB is not detected, chances are that it will be already de detected. You will have to install CP210X universal drivers, drivers from Silicon Labs website. This is a link or you might have to check up this FTDI also either of these will be suitable for your case and if i open this website for silicon labs the page this link that i'll give in the description of your tutorial or this video also you will have to look for the downloads and in the downloads you will get your driver universal windows driver for mac also and there are for linux also whatever is applicable to your case you should be able to obtain these drivers and then you will have to install them and you should ensure that it is detected in the device manager this is the first step which is a little bit tricky but nowadays chances are very low that it will be tricky at all and if your chip if your module it comes with the ftdi drivers then you can visit this link that also i have given in the downloads and you can scroll this page to get your uh, drivers and get them installed on your machine so once this is done your once this is done your this uh, com port for this uh, your module it should be detected in the device manager that is the only thing we need right now and our second step now would be to create a project with platform io ide so let us move straight to our visual studio code and in that we will click on this platform ide and here i will now go to the home page you see the icon is just located at the end and once I am on the home page, I'll say create a new project. It, uh, it is asking me the name of the project. So I will give my name as my hello. I can do anything. I, it will be installed in the default directory. And you can change it also. But here select a module. The module that we will be selecting is S. From this list, we will be picking our module and here
although any of these will work but I am looking for specifically this one espresso ESP32 dev module anything will work but in any case we are going to change edit the directory edit the file ourselves only later on so it will not much matter and here you should select expressive IOT development framework don't select Arduino select this one and once you have done this you can change the default location uh, so that you can store it at your own location on your computer otherwise it will go you to your my documents click on finish and it will take a very 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 long time to complete because if you are doing it for the first time then it will be a 1 GB download depending on your speed of the computer it will take a long long time because the first time you will have to obtain a lot many files from the internet it will be required only the first time and your first project for subsequent projects things are already on your computer and once the process completes do you trust the authors and we say we trust and click yes and my hello world project is created now I will come to the structure of this project I will explain the structure of this uh, project for that while it finishes I come back to my screenshots so this is a basic structure of the project this p uh, dot pio this dot pio is some default vs code contains your settings for this include folder is meant for storing your header files lib is for pre-compiled libraries src this contains a cmakelists.txt we don't have to worry all the settings are done for us so we do not have to worry about this do not have to worry about this about these also we don't have to worry and about this also this is the file that will contain our code and in the src directory we can add more source files whenever the requirement arises we don't have to worry about this about this all settings are done nothing to do for this also it is in this file that we will need a bit of editing because we will have to ensure that our platform is Espress IEF32 board is ESP32 dev framework is ESP IDF as I told you we do not want uh, Arduino etc then monitor speed should be 115200 this is very very important because the default monitors the baud rate for uh, your uh, this uh, ch this module is 115200 if it by default it will be set to 9600 which will not work the second thing is that monitor filters should be set to direct ESP32 this is to ensure that you get a colored output so that you can see the log in a colored manner if this is not there things will not go wrong you will only see black and white mon log but yeah, I will suggest that you should do this one so now let me come back to the project that has been created as I told you this is dot PIO nothing to worry nothing to worry about this let everything be defaulted and whenever we need we'll change uh, libraries SRC this SRC folder it contains this we will not worry about this all the defaults are already there for us this main dot C is empty the main function in case of this uh, uh, ESP32 is app underscore main main is not the function app underscore main so whatever is the code will be written here these are some tests generated we don't worry about that this is not to be modified it is this file that will need a bit of modification you can do it once for all and in future projects that can be carried so I will now pause the video and type it all so that I am able to show you typed here so since intelligence will be available I can type it monitor speed there are lot many options that are available 115200 this is what I have typed and then there was another thing also let me get that so I have typed it to match the requirements you can keep this copy for your future projects because this is only to be done in every project monitor speed and this one and now we need to write our program 
For this, we will have to, uh, we will do one thing. We'll take a ready-made program from the Espress GitHub page and I will open that page. The link is shown in the, uh, your, uh, this, uh, I will copy hello underscore word underscore main from this github.com and the link is shown in your descriptions you can obtain from there so let me now open in browser and make a copy so I have opened my browser github this you should take note of it and here they have already provided this is the official page of your expressive and on this there are many examples Bluetooth and all you can study the documentation from time to time but right now let me go to get started and here I have a hello world project I will not copy anything because my only objective is to copy this hello world main file this is what you should do because the settings for everything else have already been done so I have copied it and this is a code fairly this will display some um, your characteristics of your chip so that is we just uh, let us come back to our uh, visual uh, studio code and paste it there so here I will just delete it because I have copied everything raw and when I copy it I have my this code here I'm not even making any effort to study it I'll straightway go to compilation uh, see there is a link called a tick mark for building I will build very wait for it to build it is expected to take some time and it is building on its own everything is automated nothing to worry about anything I told you it is a fairly lengthy lengthy process for the first time and this is just one of the stages that is taking time and let us allow it to complete so after a long time it has shown success message here so it is only compilation that has been done so far my next step is to click on upload if you are seeing the lower left corner upload is an arrow this will automatically detect the com port on which my chip is running so now I will also side by side bring my chip so that you can see it happening as it proceeds I will now click on this upload so let's see the upload is going to be in progress and I will uh, just uh, you can see here building in release mode uh, this is something shown and you can see this blink see this blinking this is being writing at this memory and 100% has been written and it says it has been written successfully. So once we have uploaded it, the upload is complete now and now let us uh, and, uh, go and verify how it uh, is going to uh, run. So I will move it to one side so that I can give you a better view of uh, what is going to ultimately uh, happen and here it is a serial monitor when I'll click it I'll be able to see the uh, running log of what is going on I will click it here and now we expect to see the outputs the output has been given hello word you can see hello word is there this is chip 32 with two CPU cores I'll just hold if it is possible for me it will keep restarting because there is a last line called restart it is causing it to restart but let us see if we can hold this restarting in 10 seconds 9 8 minimum heap size is this much so basically our uh, hello world application has been uploaded and it is regularly restarting you can see that this chip will blink on a restart so this is a success you should do till this step because this is the most crucial step otherwise uploading whenever you get this C file or write your own code then this is very very easier otherwise I'll close it right now thank you